I am really excited to show you this version of the InQ kit. This is developed by IncubatorWarehouse.com. It has 225 watts of power and it installs extremely easy and the coolest part about this little InQ kit is it comes with the exclusive IncubatorWarehouse.com digital electronic thermostat specially designed for eggs or incubating anything that needs, needs very fine temperature resolution. I'm going to show you how easy it is to install this in your cabinet incubator and that's what it's designed for is a larger incubator not designed for a tabletop type application. This goes well in a cabinet style or cabinet size incubator. That's what it's designed for. I'm going to show you how to do this in a just a piece of wood which will demonstrate the ceiling or the wall of your cabinet incubator. I'll use this piece of wood to demonstrate that. First of all, you simply need to drill a hole the, the appropriate size for the screw, the mounting screw in the InQ kit. Another hole offset to allow the wires to go through from the inside of your incubator to the outside of your incubator. I'll show you how this fits together. From the inside of the incubator, thread these color-coded quick connects through that larger hole. Just like that. Piece of cake. Take the mounting screw and washer, put it through the back side or the outside of the wall. Line up the screw with the mounting hole in the InQ kit. It comes pre-threaded. Once you've screwed that into place, it is now mounted inside your incubator. We do recommend that this would be the top or the ceiling of your incubator. If that's not possible, you can find a spot on the side, the back, something like that. But we do recommend, just because of air circulation, that this is the top of your incubator. It, uh, it allows better air circulation. Now what this does is it's going to suck in the air from this side, has heating coils built in there, will blow the heated air out every side so it can then evenly circulate through your incubator. Once you've got that mounted into place, take the thermostat portion of it, follow the color codes, blue, yellow, and pink, in the quick connects, And just like that, you're fully wired. Now you will, based on where you're going to mount the thermostat itself in your incubator, have another hole that will allow the remote probe to slide through into the incubator. And you want this probe to be as close to the very center of your incubator as possible so it gets the best reading of the, of the center of your incubator. Then you can mount the thermostat anywhere on the side, on the top of your incubator, as long as it's within the, the length of that cord. Let me show you how easy this thermostat is to operate. This is slick. Plug it in. The InQ kit immediately turns on. Warm air coming out already. You can see the outside temperature of the probe right now, 76.4 degrees. This it comes preset to incubator temperature, 99.5 degrees, preset piece of cake. If you do have to change it, it's really easy to change. Simply push that button, it starts flashing the preset. You can go down by 0.1 degrees, or you can hold it and go down by full, full degrees. If you want to use this to, to incubate something else besides eggs that require a different temperature, no problem, piece of cake to do. Let's go back up to the 99.5. There we go. It will flash for a few seconds. As soon as it stops flashing, it's now set, ready to go. If it unplugs, plug it back in, it's going to remember the setting you, you have or the preset if you have not changed the temperature. Let's put it down by the heater. It's not going to change too much because you don't have a confined area, uh, but you can see that uh, it's moving up to 80.7, 82, 83. You can see it responds very fast. This is good because you're able to get a quick reading this heater will turn on and off very rapidly. The heater itself, because of the way the fan is, is situated, 
it will respond, or it will heat up and cool down rapidly, which, can, which allows it to adjust to the temperature in your incubator fast. Slick little device, unplug it, the thing turns off. When you plug it back in, the temperature's set point will go back to whatever you have it set at, or the preset if you have not changed it. And that is the 225 watt version of the Incu Kit by incubatorwarehouse.com.